11 on Wednesday, October 7th, 2020, a meeting of the Marina Advisory Committee. Um, announcements, open session, any comments? Anybody? Hearing none, we'll move on. The next item is uh, approval of minutes. Um, I cannot locate the minutes that I put together in my computer. So uh, we'll put it off until the next meeting and uh, I'll recruit my daughter to help me do a <laughs> search and rescue mission to find them. Uh, Harbor Master Report, Will? Um, most, mostly the dredging. Um, that's, that's pretty much the big, big deal of the day. Um, as you can all see, they were inside. That's what we were just talking about before the meeting started. They're working their way in. They do, uh, they dig their way in, just like probably any kind of aid going. We got all the hot spots, visit them, uh, and clean it up. Uh, we're about to, uh, separate from that, we're about to, um, shut down for the season. Um, you know, canceling weekends coming up. I think this Columbus Day will be our last weekend. Uh, I think the 15th is, I don't know, Thursday or Friday or something like that. So that'll be it for the weekends. Um, that's pretty much all it's ongoing. We've started uh, trying to put away whatever we can. Uh huh. Any, um, any questions? Comments about that report? Uh, no, Joe, I, did, I, I had one question for Will. Hey, I noticed um, today, I had just been down the pier, that all those uh, moorings near closest to your building are still there. Um, is it because of the weather that um, they haven't been able to get them out? Sorry, what was the, what was the last part of that? The, the, mo the moorings that are there, I, is it the weather that's prevented them from getting them out or they just don't plan on getting them out for a little while longer? So the, 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 the moorings will over there closest to your building. Yeah, the, uh, the field up against the, the bulkhead there. Yeah, yeah. Against the revetment, yeah. They just, um, they just haven't gotten to them yet. They're not in the area of need. Um, so they just, Pro progress with other things and lay back on them. Right, right. Thank you. Okay. Any other uh, any other questions? Uh, well, my question would be: Are they going to be able to uh, dredge up to the uh, ramp? If uh, I mean, it looks like time's going to be there's going to be plenty of time. Well, we got we got the um, process approved for GEI to. You, do you mean the piggyback dredging, Walter? Yeah, yeah, the dredging in, into the boat ramp, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, we're gonna get into that um, okay. the dredging category coming up. Okay. Okay, um, anything else on that? Okay, um, Marina concerns and suggestions. Um, I have one concern about the fuel dock. Um, the length of it is not covered entirely with the bumper. And um, part of it that is covered, the nails are rusted and protruding out and they can scratch a boat. Um, as mine got scratched a couple of places. Um, so my recommendation will is that the entire length be covered with bumper perhaps using stainless um, screws instead of nails so that the bumper is firm and doesn't cause any damage to boats. The, the fire hose on it this winter? Whatever, whatever you have on there for bumper. Where, where was it that your boat got scratched? Which portion? Well, the, the fire hose does not run the entire length of the fuel dock there's a couple of feet at the end of it that are not covered. 
and there's about 15, 20 feet of it where the nail, the, the bumper's coming loose and the nails are sticking out and they're rusted. Hmm, that didn't last too long. We just redid it all this winter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Joe, on that. I, uh, I, I mean, you know, that's just, it's, you know, I, I don't know what the easy fix is. Maybe, you know, screws instead of nails will, but it, <laughs> my, my, my starboard stern is, <laughs> is pretty marred up, but I, you know, it, it's, uh, it's been that way for a while, but I, I know that um, you had done some work to that earlier um, with the hose, which improved it greatly. Um, but I do think that, you know, there are a couple of spots there that might need to be touched up, you know, maybe re-secured at some point. Yeah, we'll check it out tomorrow, see what, uh, what got messed up. Um, I just, I have a question. Um, uh, the Gilly girl has been parked at the fuel dock for a month. And in September, there were times when boats couldn't get in uh, because he was parked there. What's going on with that? Not much. Um, he's been parked there on and off after he'll come back from a trip and empty out his pots. And if he's going the next morning, he'll park there. Um, that has been a slip in most of the previous years um, back in there. So he's just doing that to unload his lobster pots. Uh, he's not currently there right now. Um, he's been there on and off uh, while he unloads his pots. Well, I noticed in September and most days, he was there practically the whole day. Is that a slip he pays for? No, nope, he's just unloading his pots. Hmm. That's typically, uh, as Dave will tell you, we allow people to unload their pots on the on the fuel dock and put them up. And you know, I I uh, I typically am not the one to pressure the eighty year old man out there still lobstering to, you know, hurry up and keep going. So he's right. He's right next to me over there in the slip. And I know that the about three or four of the days that he was over there, he was there because that wind was really whipping out of the uh, northeast. And I had to put extra lines on my boat because it was like hopping all over the place. And I think if he had left his boat in there, you know, he would have had some problems there too. And so I took it that that's why he was parked over there. Well, I'm, I'm, my comment is uh, I've been watching it and he's been there all day, many days, you know. And it just it creates, when it's busy, a backup at the fuel dock. And he's got a slip, so, you know, after he unloads, I don't know why he cannot um, use his slip. Well, I, 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 I'll chime in a little bit, Joe. And, and you know, he, he is in his 80s, and um, God bless him for just being able to get out there, I guess. Um, I know it's really no excuse to leave it there. Um, you know, I've been guilty of it myself from time to time and I'm going to pick up a tide in the morning and I'm not going to be able to get out because uh, there's no water. So I leave it out there and then I jump on the boat in the morning and I'll, I'll, I'll do that myself. Um, honestly, it's a convenience I wouldn't want to see go away in a sense because we're, you know, we're out there working and we're trying to get this stuff, you know, out of the water because we're mandated to get them out. Um, you know, and in the, pa <clears throat> in the past, Mike has always given us permission to, to do that. You know, I, I think it should be with the understanding that if the boats have to be moved, they, sh you know, th th you know, either the, the harbor master has the cop launch to move it or give us a call and we'll move it. Um, but I, you know, I, I understand the frustration and, and where that can happen. Um, especially now with COVID and more people down here and more people using their boats and the like. Um, but uh, that's my... Oh, he froze up. I think we lost Dave. I think he's back. No, nope, he's gone. Okay, um, dredging update. Um, um, explain, you know, why it happens. You froze up there for a little while, Dave. Uh-huh. You froze up. We couldn't hear what you were saying. 
Uh -huh. I don't know if I want to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got the gist of it. Okay. Um, dredging update. Um, the, um, the permits have been separated for areas one and areas two. Um, there are two final procedural matters to complete for area one. Um, one is an Army Corps 408 review, um, which will be completed, we're told, by the end of uh, next week. Uh, the other is a review by the Town Conservation Commission. And um, um, that is scheduled for a meeting next week. And we're told that's a, a typical procedural um, approval. Um, the, the other part of that is that our engineering firm um, sent the dredging committee a contract to um, facilitate the piggyback dredging by the fuel dock and in front of the launching ramp. And um, it, um, it was approved it went before a special meeting of the select board on Monday. It was approved by then them and uh, signed in the afternoon by the town administrator. It's now in effect. And the state regulations are being followed in order to launch a bidding process. Um, so that will be happening in the next few weeks, which will put us in um, position to do the piggyback dredging if the channel is done and um, time allows. Um, the, um, the other issue regarding area two, we're waiting for the Army Corps and National Marine Fishery Service to get back to us with some parameters so we can look at um, uh, what the town can possibly offer in, in mitigation. Um, anybody have any questions? Hopefully, Cashman is eager. They're doing the channel dredging now, and they're eager to bid on the piggyback area, 56,000 square or cubic yards. Um, and um, they were the low bidder uh, by far for the channel. So um, we're hopeful that um, they'll be competitive and maybe get it because it would keep the cost down and their equipment is um, already right there. Any questions? So you are on the dredging task force right now. I'm the co-chair of it. Okay, okay. So they're in co communication with you guys fairly regularly these days? Oh yeah, Okay. a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where does GEI fit into this? They are contracted by, they're the old born consulting engineers. The engineers. Which goes back to, their work for the town goes back to 1997. And they're now GEI. And um, they have the contract to facilitate the process in order to do piggyback dredging. Okay. Okay, okay so they're not a dredging firm themselves. No, no. Okay, because I, I was under the impression that there was somebody we were hoping we uh, would bid on it that would might be able to get areas one and two done in one sitting because they were that big, they were that uh, comprehensive. That's unlikely because it's to our favor to do it in two separate years for budgetary reasons. The state legislature would have two budgets to allocate funds to us instead of combining it into one big fund. Ah. Any other um, questions or comments? So the piggyback areas, could, they, could that be done after they finish the channel or is that, is that the next? Goal, the goal is to do it as soon as they finish the channel. They have until December 31st, but mm -hmm. Cashman has stated that with the weather cooperating, um, they're optimistic they could finish it 
by November 31st. While their gear is still here, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it would, and keep the, and, and somewhat lower the cost. I, I, I was impressed watching the operation when I saw the scoop come up. I didn't see any mayonnaise come out, just water. It looks like a pretty efficient operation. Yeah, that clamshell dredge looked brand new. I mean, that, that thing sitting on the bars when they got here was, was shiny. Let's put it yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah I, I had expected to see it leaking mud all over the place. And I, would, I was uh, gratified to see that, you know, everything that's going into the barge is what's coming off the bottom. Well, the, the, the newer dredging mechanisms are an upgrade from 20 years ago. You know, they we're told they're computer driven, um, a highly trained crew that does that all the time. Mm -hmm. um, so they're pretty efficient. Anything else? No? Okay. Any um, new business, future concerns? Walter, you look like you're at your desk. Do you happen to have a calendar in front of you? I have one on my phone here, yeah. Yeah? Or John or Martha? Uh, yeah, I have one on the, on the computer. Yeah. I'll pull it up. Looks four like weeks four from today would be when? Uh, the fourth. Of November. Of November. November what? Fourth. Four. Fourth. Okay. That acceptable to everybody? Yes, yeah, the day after the election. Yeah. The day before my birthday, more importantly. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Next. That should be a holiday, right? Yeah, 60 years old. Whoa. You're a young guy. I know. <laughs> Dave, if, Dave, if we were if we were meeting in the town hall, we'd throw a cake in your face. Yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good time doing it. Yep. <laughs> okay, November 4th, I'll get a notice out to everybody. Um, do we have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. Martha? Second. Second, Dave? Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we are adjourning at 727. Thank you, everybody.